Hello everyone, this week Garage Time is on vacation. I'm in Marble Falls, Texas, doing a little bit of jet skiing and enjoying the lake. But don't worry, I do have a video for you this week. I recorded it last week. It's how to remove the rear window on a Porsche 911. Garage Time. Okay, now it's time to remove this rear window. And you know, the seal to me looks like it's in decent condition. So rather than just cut this window out, I'm trying to loosen the glass and keep the rubber intact. I might use the rubber again. This is definitely a budget build and this rubber looks like it might be reusable if I can soften it up a little bit. So what I'm doing now um, is I'm, I have this plastic spatula and a syringe full of dishwashing soap. So I'm, I'm going through and I'm sticking this in here and I'm injecting soap underneath the seal just to loosen it up a little bit. And um, I'm doing that on both the inside and outside. And then I'm just gonna push from the inside with my feet. Let me show you up close. You're gonna stand like right here and just make sure it doesn't come falling out on the floor. Chances of it falling all the way out are pretty minimal, okay? Okay, that should be good. Just make sure it stays there. Yeah, just it's just so. Okay, go on that side and grab the top. Okay, follow me. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, I did spend more time than was shown on the video just taking that plastic scraper and really releasing the, uh, the grip that the rubber had on this, on this window frame. Now this has probably never been out before is my guess. This is the original headliner and it was crunchy, kind of crusty, um, but the soap really loosens it up. Some of the headliner um, you know, was, was loose, so this kind of, came apart when I put the squeegee in there. Um, and then when I was using my feet to push the glass out, um, which was an awkward position, by the way, I'm sure I'm gonna get some jokes on that one. But um, I just put a blanket in the inside of the car and I had my back supported against the back seats. And I was using my feet and I was pushing pretty hard and I was just monitoring sort of the flex of the glass and the movement of the seal. So I was pulsing it in and out a few times just to get that rubber to open up the, 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 the seals and, and kind of loosen it up a little bit. And then um, I knew the corners were probably gonna be the strongest. So I focused on this corner first 
and then I just kept pushing and it broke loose. You can see the seal on the inside wrapping around the flange. And once it starts to wrap around, I would move more towards the center and then off to the other side. Popped up the top and then it came, came right out. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that I would advise this for everyone. Um, the seal is much, much cheaper than the glass. Uh, so if you're at all nervous, you know, cut the seal out, buy a new seal, put the glass in, but it's just gonna be as difficult to put the new seal in um, as it is to take the old one out. So, uh, you know, I like to keep the original parts. I can try to recondition it and then I'll have a reference of how that seal is shaped and if the new seal is the right size and so forth. You also probably noticed that I did not take the, uh, the, the chrome or the aluminum strip out of the seal when I removed the, the window. And I didn't want to damage that. It's super fragile. I like it to come out as one piece. And the way the seal flexes and the way the window comes out, that chrome strip is just along for the ride. Um, it's not worth trying to remove that with the glass in place because it makes it much, much harder. So that chrome strip, even if I do put it in a new piece of glass where I want to take it out to polish it, um, it's easier to put that, that strip in with just rubber, not trying to put it in after the rubber is installed on the car. That's, I think that's the right method. Um, don't quote me on that, but uh, to me, that's, that's what it seems like the easiest way to, to go about that is. The other uh, good news is that this is a common uh, rust prone area and this is looking uh, very nice. So no, uh, no rust in these lower sections that water can accumulate. Uh, there is a little bit of looks like glue or partial rubber up there, but that is not bubbling or rust. Um, this corner is kind of the same thing, has a little bit of um, residue from the seal, but it's not bad. Down here, this corner here has just got a bunch of dirt and dust in here, but this is, this is solid. No uh, welding, no rust repair needed here. Look at all this dirt. Just gonna leave that alone for now, but this parcel shelf does not look like it's uh, corroded at all. Great news. That's all the time I have for this week. Uh, I know that's a short video, but I'm on vacation and this is gonna be aired a week or two from now. So stay tuned, see you next week.